We're back at the hospital doing some roadside clearing some trees. There's like five altogether. I've also got this little bad boy. Maybe anchoring that, and then maybe the next one up. Yeah, it's only it's only ten o'clock. I was just gonna do that one now. <laughs> does as you can see it's a basically a zigzag but with one attachment point um, quite compact really nice and compact the rope it comes with it's quite thick and horrible really it's all right but what I really love especially about the, you know, the petzl stuff how it has this plastic you can see it's got this plastic thing on the end so it just holds your carabiner rigid when you're moving it so it doesn't move so that's pretty good I just spiked up that tree then and um, it got relatively skinny at the top, still getting me close to the stem, which was good. When you twist your hips to the right, well, I've got this on the right hand side, so it, it did touch the, the stem a few times and caught like that, and I could feel it obviously loosen. But the worst thing about it is it's got no swivel on it. And as you can see, it's just stiff, kind of attached to the carabiner. It's not the end of the world, actually. I thought it would, I'd notice it more. But I've literally just kind of spiked up and down a tree, well two trees this morning and there was no real limb walks or climbing or anything, no major changeovers. So I didn't really notice it. I think it's pretty good value for money to be fair if you're getting, because you get the rope with it, this is a four metre rope. And it's got a nice, um, on the termination end, it's got this big red plastic thing on it. So obviously you're not, you're not going to rub off the end of the rope. and. It's just a lot neater, it's not going to get, it was a big knot in the end, it's not going to get caught in forks and things like that. So, um, so yeah, pretty accurate. 